Yeah, let's talk about that tripod. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's turn this, the brand, to the camera here. And today we're gonna review the actually tripod that I use. You may realize that I already made a tripod review of this brand, KNF Concept. This one exactly, carbon fiber tripod. But today I'm gonna to review this one. That's actually the one that I did bought for myself. KNF did send me this one to make a review, but that one is the actually one that I use. If you check out most of the pictures that I did over a year, until now I had been using this tripod. So I have to tell you the good, the bad, and the excellent about this tripod. Again, the brand is not facing the camera. Come on, Miguel. So there is a lot to explore about this tripod. The first thing that I have to show you is all the features that this thing can do. Now, as you may realize, I have an awkward position about this tripod. This is the way that I like to use it is like that. Even KNF Concept said that it's not the best way to use this tripod, but it's the way that I use it because it's been stable, it, it worked properly, and it's the fastest way to use it because if I clamp it down, but I like to use it open like that because when I arrive to the field, I have the landscape, I have the model waiting for me, I want to be quick. So what I do, it's pretty damn simple. I'll open the tripod like that, open only two telescopic tubes, not the three of them, only two. And there you go. The other legs as well. Fit. I need to re-glue that. And there we go. If I want to get a little bit lower, I go, I go like this. It covers like 90% of the situations that I want to photograph. But if I need to go a little bit higher, I can go a little bit higher using this. Again, the second uh, tripod head to extend this. If I really need, I'm gonna use this one to get even bigger, but yeah, as you can see, it's extremely rare that I use these ones. It's a very compact tripod for something that can go extremely high. It's a little bit on the heavy side, especially if you compare it with a carbon fiber one, but it's aluminum, so it won't rust. This second tripod head here has a nice trick is that you can flip this thing into 90 degrees. It has another feature that I have to show you is to photograph extremely close to the ground. You can use this bad boy to avoid seeing the legs and to flip it around. So you unscrew this part over here. This head is out. You flip it around. You put back this in as a safety so your camera won't fall into disgrace. So. It's a better idea to lock this as well. And there we go. You can get extremely low. The camera look like this if you uh, range the legs up. Before this tripod, I had another tripod that it was a clock locking device and the rust get in, it broke, it would. And when it broke, you, you don't have any solution. You have to replace the legs. But this thing will live forever, okay? Everything is pretty damn modular on this tripod. For example, if I want, I don't know, I'm gonna remove this. I, I could remove this part over here, but it's easier to remove the head. So I'm gonna remove the tripod head. Here is the tripod head, and I can remove this leg. It's pretty damn hard. And there we go. You have the leg unscrewed. I need this, and you can unscrew this as well. There you go. Let's Leave it there. Remove the, the red ring. Don't lose the red ring because it's annoying. I just bought this thing over here mainly to not do all of this. And an extra piece like this, it's in my camera bag. So I won't remove it from the tripod. I have another one like this. Yeah, I won't lose the red ring or anything like that. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna screw this in, in here. And now I'm gonna screw this into the tripod head. And magically, I have a monopod like that. If you need a higher uh, monopod, just use this extra piece over here or actually the whole 90 degrees piece to have a higher uh, monopod. Let's put this, all of this back together. Yeah. 
there we go. The pretty damn basic of what this tripod can do. Let's start with the good things about this tripod. First of all is the versatility of this tripod. Yeah, I can put it in all position, switch, go left, right. Another good thing is how the tripod holds your camera. So this is uh, Arco Swiss, pretty damn standard on the top here. This is a uh, no particular brand, it's very cool or whatever. This is an Arco Swiss, you just put it there, lock it in place, boom. What I advise you, and they are extremely cheap, it's buy a bunch of these and put in all your cameras. Use this Arca Swiss standard for everything. The KNF ones are a bit expensive, so they are all the same, so just buy these ones. For my photographic camera, I put the camera with this on the back and the Titan thing, it's on the front. So like that, I can level the camera pretty damn easy with this guy over here. A very positive thing, it's most of the photographers now are using cameras to make video as well. And if you need a really, really quick, at least panorama, you have the possibility, you, do, you just unscrew this and it's a pretty damn smooth panorama that you can do in video in here. Another thing that it's pretty damn cool is everything, every single connection here, it's standard. This is standard, it's a Swiss. Uh, the connection from the tripod to the head, it's standardized tripod screw, everything it's pretty damn standard. And it goes beyond standard, so the fruits here, I can unscrew and it, it's tripod standard in here. So I can add an extension of this if I want and I can change the rubber over here that I'm gonna talk about this in a bit. This is our spring loaded, so you ha won't have any problem with this going off as this has three positions. So the standard position that you look like that, up, bigger angle and almost flat and to arrange, you just go all the way up. There we go. Another excellent thing is that I am using this tripod on the snow, on everything and all these pieces that has some screw to tighten it up. I never tighten up. It stayed in place. It has a really good friction to it from the get-go until now. It has here a hook so you can stabilize your tripod. It's a little bit strange that something this cheap it's putting, what, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 dollars, bucks of material on its head. And you are hoping that it doesn't fall, but it's a sturdy tripod. And now you guys are wondering, you like it so much, why you don't marry it? First of all, I'm not into three-legged things and there is some bad things about it. So, let's be honest, this is a bad thing, but this is my favorite tripod until now. Let's start with, it's way too much complicated. There is a lot of things that can go wrong with this tripod. To avoid the, all this column spinning, you need to make sure that this part over here, it's locked. You need to make sure that this part over here, it's locked. And you need to make sure that this part over here, it's locked and you need to make sure that this part over here it's locked as well for example one time i shake the tripod it was something a little bit of a noise inside here inside this tube and i go what the heck and it was plain simple a small piece that it has inside that went off this piece over here so this piece uh, it has just one job is that this doesn't come off this, yeah, this was inside of this tube, just shaking around and making some noises. And I didn't know for a few hours what the hell was happening, if my tripod was break, broken or not, and shit. Yeah, the complexity of this tripod, it's not the most positive thing. I have to unscrew this to put this back in. So another thing that I'm not a great fan of it is this ball leveler. I would really prefer 2x's leveler because sometimes I need just to level horizontally and I can't because the bubble is on the, on the top. If it had one like this and one like this, it would be better. So I can correct the horizon and I can correct as well the pitch. With this one, I cannot have either of that. 
Another bad thing is the weight. For me, I was used to use down heavy tripods. This one, it's quite heavy on the top. Okay, KNF said that I should use this tripod like this and rise it like this if I want to rise it. So the weight is lower, but I'm not that guy. I used to use this tripod as I transported like so. It didn't shake, it's extremely solid so i leave it as is because i just open the tripod and it's ready to use well another big problem that this tripod has is that the glue maybe it's not the best one because i had to already re-glue both of these things but it's a pretty damn easy fix just glue this telescopic tube inside of it and you are good to go yeah, it's a bit, a little bit of annoying, have a surprise of this getting out of here. Another thing that I don't really like, I am used to work with a company that use Miller tripods. If you know that tripods, they are, they are huge, heavy tripods. But one of the things that I really like is that they have this sponge that you can grip really easily. And if it's hot, this is not very hot, so you can put your hand there and you are good to go. But only the leg that has the monopod has this. The other ones doesn't have this. I would prefer a sponge at least at two of them. Another thing that out of the bat in the this is extremely bad that I didn't like, it was the rubber that it came with this tripod on its feet. It was a very smooth and a very wiggly butter, uh, butter rubber. And this I had to replace with this ones. Good thing that they are standard screws, so you can screw little things like this. It's more metal inside than rubber, so it won't move uh, too much. Yeah, this is a positive thing because the tripod that I had before this one, you cannot change the legs. This one you can change, but the ones that come with this tripod are shit, not good at all replace them another negative thing is the time to set up this tripod it's way too slow a lot of moving parts and yeah what is great is as i told you before you can buy accessories for this tripod and one thing that i could advise you is this fit with this fit over here they are metal fits focus focus like the girls in a in makeup tutorial this bad boys are extremely tough and if you go to rough terrain and you need to make sure that your tripod are nicely in place you can use one of these feet another extremely great thing about this tripod is the price it's much cheaper than the carbon fiber one another excellent thing and you guys may say well it's it's just another chinese tripod that it's actually not bad and you would be right about that but this tripod i am extremely fan because i bought it for myself i bought it actually on amazon but i did contact them when i actually screw up what did happen is that i unscrewed this part all the way in the extreme dark i lose a ring inside of this it was a user error and this thing fall out so i claim to kind of concept to replace this part and guess what they did they sent me on fast shipping with this bag this this is the broken head that i have at the time they didn't know that i had a youtube channel they didn't contact me yet and i used my personal email not the email that you can see on my youtube channel or my email that you see on my website so i contacted them and i said this thing is not working properly there is a problem and they shipped me for free less than 24 hours uh, shipment this part i didn't hope to get this level uh, of service honestly because it's a cheap tripod <laughs> There you go, that, that was a big surprise for me. And well, everyone, there you go. So drop a like if you learned something, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'm Miguel, till next time, see ya.